this equation with respect to s because we are discussing all of this flow when a small element of length ds is under observation r over r minus 1 is constant k is constant so will remain as it is and when we differentiate it with respect to s firstly apply power rule and then further derivative of rho is d rho by ds half is constant so derivative of q square by power rule is 2q and further derivative of q with respect to s is dq by ds is equal to 0 r minus 1 is cancelled by r minus 1 so we get r k rho power r minus 2 d rho by ds plus 2 is cancelled by 2 remaining q dq by ds is equal to 0 as gas expand adiabatically we are using expression so p is equal to k rho power r so we write rho power r minus 2 as rho power r over rho square so this k and rho power r will be replaced by p and this term will become r p by rho square d rho by ds plus q dq by ds is equal to 0. We have discussed relation of pressure and density with speed of sound is this c square is equal to r p by rho. So substitute value of r p by rho as c square and in denominator 1 rho is remaining d rho by ds plus q dq by ds is equal to 0. Take this q dq by ds term at right hand side and this will be in with negative sign. c square is in multiplication in left hand side so at right hand side it will be in the vn now after that we have get value of 1 by rho d rho by ds that is equal to minus q over c square dq by ds put this value into the equation 1 1 by rho d rho by ds replace this first factor with minus q over c square dq by ds so we will get the result minus q over c square dq by ds plus 1 over q dq by ds plus 1 over omega d omega by ds is equal to 0 take dq by ds from first and second term common and we will get in bracket minus q over c square plus 1 over q plus 1 over omega d omega by ds taking LCM here we get this term now take 1 over omega d omega ds at the right hand side and multiply this term with right hand side we will get d value of dq by ds that is equal to dq by ds is equal to minus q over 1 minus q square over c square 1 over omega d omega by ds as by you, the definition of mesh number mesh number is equal to speed of flow to the speed of sound so we replace q by c with the mesh number capital m so this q square by c square factor will be capital m square and this q by c, this q will be equal to m multiply by c so this complete factor will become minus mc over 1 minus m square 1 over omega d omega by ds multiply both side by q we will get q dq by ds minus q mc over 1 minus m square 1 over omega d omega by ds as q multiply by c As q multiply
now by simplifying this we will get minus m square c square over 1 minus m square 1 over omega d omega by ds since pipe is converging mean its area is decreasing with passage of time and area is denominated by omega so at the start we have said that pipe is converging mean d omega by ds is less than 0 this shows that omega is greater than 0 if omega is greater than 0 then its reciprocal is less than 0 if reciprocal is less than 0 this term is less than 0 m square c square will be greater than 0 is always true so we can say that it as area decreases reciprocal recipro if area increases reciprocal of area decreases so this term is decreasing this term is decreasing then this complete term will increase if 1 minus m square is greater so we can say that our term m square over c square 1 minus m square minus 1 over omega d omega by ds increases if denominator factor is increasing so from equation 2 from equation 2 we get if this term increases we can say left hand side increases and left hand side will increase at that condition this right hand side increases so we can say that as this right hand side increases at this condition so left hand side also increases with this condition dq by ds is greater than 0 so m square is less than 1 because from this term minus m square greater than 1 multiply both side by minus then we will get the inequality sign will be changed so m square is less than 1 if m square is less than 1 then we can say that mesh number is less than 1 so we can say that dq by ds change of speed of flow with respect to this small element increases if mesh number is less than 1 and we know mesh number is equal to q over c means this term is q over c is less than 1 this shows that q is less than c if speed of flow is less than speed of sound then we can say that speed of fluid rate of speed of fluid with respect to small element is increasing that is this this shows that this is the statement that i have called speed increases as we go along pipe in direction in which pipe converges if movement is along that direction in which pipe is converging mean area is decreasing then speed will increase and if we move opposite from the converging area then speed of flow will decrease by increasing area speed will decrease by decreasing area or converging pipe speed will increase so q less than c means speed of flow is less than speed of sound from this relation we have two types of flow a flow is said to be subsonic if speed of sound is greater than speed of flow and it, flow is said to be supersonic if speed of flow is greater than speed of sound this is the actual result that we have get three result from here 
first result is that speed increases as we go along the pipe in direction of area increase converges second if speed of sound is greater than speed of flow flow is subsonic if speed of sound is less than speed of flow then flow is supersonic so this question will be in three terms that with that it can be called so that show that f when flow is supersonic or subsonic or to show that speed is increases as we go along the pipe in converging direction next 